morning everyone today I'm installing one kicker uh, comp or four ohms just a single one customer doesn't want much I won't be able to show you today I honestly I hurt my back today and then I kind of uh, not be able to take the whole video but I'm gonna have to talk about it so as you can see first of all I'm starting right on that side in that boot right there there's a boot that's gonna go there Basically, the wire is like that much right there. I mean, I didn't really cover anything. It's fine. You, you can't see it. You run it down here. You pull this rubber out right there by pulling it out like this right there. And you take a flat head and pry this up. All of this going to come out. And then underneath there, you're going to be seeing the... Uh, turn this light off. You're gonna see the uh, there's a yellow that yellow and black that wrap together. You want to use yellow as positive, and then the black as negative. So basically, I'm going inside there. I got power from the battery, and then I also I could not make a ground right in here. I had to make a ground right here, so I had to take this out too, and then remove this out. I'm not exactly sure what size it is. I forgot. I think. From looking at it, I think it's number 15. So uh, we're gonna put that back in there. Yep, that's for the seat belt. Tied it up, close it right that first, tighten it, and then use the right tool to do it. I mentioned I, once I got this out this bolt out and uh, I made a uh, ground out here I sand it really good and then I ground it and run it back over here and then I ran the speaker wire all the way to the back as you can see it run you don't have to take all this panel out right here you just lift it up a little bit right there see when I get down I'm hurting right now but you know that's how it is Run the speaker wire up there and put the po to the positive right here and to the negative. So the only thing that I mentioned, all the amp install is almost the same. But in this matter, we're using a line-out converter. I'm going to show you the line-out converter. I'm going to talk about that yellow and black speaker wire. So the line-out converter that I'm going to be using is called Kisslock 2 right there. In Kisslock 2, you're going to have speaker wire, four speaker wire got white black and gray black you want to put that to the negative which is the black wire okay right there to the black wire and then you got the white the solid white and solid gray to the uh, positive you want to hook it up to the yellow and then you want to hook this up to the, your amp remote and then this ground right here you can either ground it on the metal frame or you can ground it with the ground I was talking about where the seat belt is at so yep you can ground it together with where the amp is at so and then you just go to the front basically with that rubber boot we're using this hmm. hurt again push it up to take it out to the battery I use the uh, ring terminal 516 and this copper terminal ring right there and then I tighten really tight so I'm making sure this power is not loose make sure this is tight too okay because you do it over here you supposed to do it right here but my brother-in-law put it right here but it's still fine just making sure this is not moving see that if not customer battery is gonna die it's not gonna give enough charge to the battery or sometimes he might not be able to start the car because it's not uh, strong I mean uh, the uh, it's not getting all the juice to it so say like that it's easy to understand 